Okay. Yeah, it is. It's the lowest weigh-in I've had. Hey guys, so first of all, good morning. It is 10.50 right now. We're uh, heading in. We're gonna go to Victoria's Secret. Hopefully it's open by now. And Sid's here. Hi. And then after that, I'll show you guys if I get anything. But honestly, I just need some Victoria's Secret. Like, that, don't you ever have days where you're just like, I just need underwear and I just need to feel pretty? Very small I would die. So, Sid, how was our scavenger? Yeah, she got Victoria's Secret, I got Victoria's Secret. I just bought underwear, one bra, and a perfume. And uh, we're feeling good, we're feeling good. can't wait. Yeah, no seriously, broke as fuck now, but it's okay, life goes on. Okay guys, so I just dropped off Sydney. I'm currently on my way to go eat at Flower Child with my mom and my siblings. Um, I'll show you guys what I get once I get there. I'm like a block away from that now. Um, it was a really long drive from her, like where she's staying to here. So I was like driving and listening to music and I don't know if you guys have ever heard the song Lush Life. That's seriously one of my favorites. Um, but once I get my food, I'll show you. Oh fuck, I totally missed it. like the wrap and my little sister she the mashed potatoes here are amazing here's my green tea mom look at her food smile mom but isn't this so delicious so noah and i are heading to my doctor's appointment um, basically, I'm going to head over there. My appointment's technically at 1.45, but we're gonna try to get me in early and everything like that, but he's carrying my tea. Literally, if you guys ever have a flower child near you, go there, it's my favorite place to go to. Okay guys, so I'm walking up to my doctor's office. I still go to a pediatrician and um, you know, I honestly don't want to grow up. I don't want to get older because the moment that you get older, you have all these responsibilities. And I'll be 18 soon, so I'm gonna have to find a new PD, like a new doctor, but for now, I'm still going to my same one. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I actually purchased at Victoria's Secret earlier today. So we're gonna start with what's in the little bag first, and it's just a bra let or a bra, one of the two, not really sure which one this is, but this one's really cute, has no underwire. Like literally, it has no padding, so like for the size that I wear, <laughs> it's not that supportive, but it's really cute and it's something that makes me feel good. So I got this, and this was actually $9.99, so I was like, okay, like I'll get it. It doesn't have any underwire or anything, so like it's literally a piece of cloth on my boobs. Doesn't hold them up, but it's still cute. So they have these, which are really cute, and then the back, really cute. They have the white pair. This pair, which I think is like so cute. It's like a really pretty pink color with gold on it. Then there's this pair. Then this one's really cute as well. It has like velvet on it and it just makes me feel like girly. Then there's the coral color. It's like a peachy color actually. So this is like a peachy color. It's the floral lace. Then this one's kind of cute and fun. Honestly, I like the fact that it has a thicker waistband. Then I got this green pair, which I think are adorable. And they're the back's just nice. I like the kind of color. I don't wear it often though. Then I picked up a gray pair. Then I'm absolutely in love with these. Um, it's like a like royal blue. And it's so pretty. And then it has this detailing right here, which I think is nice. And then I bought a hot pink pair. So I bought those and then also I bought the Pure Seduction Night Fragrance Mist, which when I tell you, I think sometimes pampering yourself and buying things that you need to, like, that you want, it's important. So I just kind of went out on a limb and I was like, you know, today I really need to just 
buy some things for myself and eat well. Hey guys, so we're on our way to go see my prep coach. I'm gonna be hitting either a back or shoulder workout with him. I'm gonna have him pick today because I could do either. Okay guys, let's get this commentary started. So first of all, I start off with a warm up exercise and this actually warms up my lower back. I don't go completely up. You guys can see, see that I stop like pretty early on and I'm just warming up the lower back. I do a ton of reps and then I do four sets of 10 while I'm doing this. So you guys can see that I really focus on just warming up, going slow, going through the motion. And um, this is going to help with the exercise that I do at the end for my lower back. So then by the time I hit that workout or that exercise, I'm not gonna be like able to get hurt because it'll already be warmed up and everything. So the first one I start with is like assisted pull-ups and the person who was filming for me didn't realize that you can't turn a normal camera around like that and have it change so I'm sorry that this one piece of footage is completely like screwed up right here but you guys can see like obviously I'm getting better at pull-ups but I'm really really weak when it comes to that so I use the assisted area and I just do 10 sets of four, or like four sets of 10 actually. So then the next thing is just lat pull downs. I do 85 pounds here. I do 10 reps with four sets. And then after doing the, like the set, what I like to do is stretch out. So a lot of people forget to stretch um, between your sets and before and after. So what I like to do is a overhand like stretch and it's super nice and it feels really good. You guys can see how I do it right here. But seriously, like one thing that I love to do is just really stretch it out and then obviously I do my other sets and in between the sets I stretch it out again. And by the way, that is shadowing. I do not have armpit hair, like just for the record. <laughs> But after that, I go over to the rows, and then um, I'm really working on my form here. I know that sometimes I slack on that because like, when you're not looking at yourself every day, you don't see your form. So I'm trying to keep a straight back and really contract my lats. And uh, in between this, I actually do another stretch, which is actually, actually the underhand stretch. So like you put your hands under rather than over and that's the difference between those two so I really highly recommend it feels great as well and um, it keeps your lats feeling good it really stretches everything and this is the lower back exercise that I was talking about earlier that is why I did that warm-up so then by the time I got to this I wouldn't get hurt and all you do is go back and forth you guys can see how this works and everything but um yeah, you can definitely feel all of these exercises. So if you're trying them and you're not feeling it, you're obviously uh, needing to change your form. So I hope that this commentary helped. And this is the end of the video. I love you all. Mwah! So aren't you glad to meet me? I think you should. I'll be